A renewed call for a group of Phoenix police officers to be fired and criminally charged after a new video of an in custody death happening back in 2017. Activists say the video shows officers impeding the man's ability to breathe while another appears to mock his religion. ABC 15 investigator Melissa Blazius has the new video and the police department's response. But we want to warn you, this video is disturbing and may not be appropriate for all viewers. I told you, the service dog. He just wanted to use the bathroom without leaving his service dog Chiquita outside. That's what started the deadly police encounter for 43-year-old Mohammed Muhaiman. He was homeless, mentally ill, black, and Muslim. He also had an arrest warrant for failing to appear in court. Now you're going to be going for a felony now, dumb. You know. You were a lot nicer last time. He died in January 2017 after that struggle with police. Now demands for a deeper investigation and more accountability for the officer's actions. Now he's dead. Number one, being uh, disciplined and fired from the department. Number two, um, possible criminal charges against the officers that were involved in this. The Council on American Islamic Relations is one of 61 community action groups and religious organizations that sent this letter this week calling on Phoenix's mayor and the county attorney to act. You need to treat people with dignity and respect and that goes into uh, speaking you know, with respect about about their faith or their color or how they look, their disability. Not only did officers pin down Muhammad by his body, head and neck, but in this piece of video recently made public, Muhammad seems to call out to Allah, God, for help. One officer answers. A lawyer for the Mohammed family said when he heard the video, it made him believe that there may have been some religious animus towards Muhammad. The family obtained the video as part of a $10 million civil rights lawsuit against the city of Phoenix. We're in the expert disclosure phase. It seems as though that type of bias was, was brought into this policing interaction as well, and you're basically taking away the humanity of this individual and joking about it. According to the Phoenix Police Department, that's an inaccurate interpretation. Phoenix Police say their officers are trained to diffuse situations when possible, which is what was done for Muhammad, adding officers did not mock or target Mr. Muhammad based on his religion, race, or any other factor. And in reality, they say, the officer responded, Allah, we're trying to help you right now, dude, so relax. Listen again. Allah. We'll slow it down so you can hear better. Is it Allah? He can't help you, or we're trying to help you? This is not something that can be uh, PR'd away. This was a, a human being's life um, that was in their hands and the person lost their life. I'm investigator Melissa Blazius, ABC 15, Arizona. Well, Phoenix police and the mayor's office say they can't comment further due to the pending lawsuit. The county attorney's office reviewed the case in 2018 and declined criminal charges against the officers. According to our office, Alistair Adele would only reopen this case if Phoenix police resubmitted with new evidence.